goes through your mind when you know you step back out here on campus that you see? You know what? Um, because I train here, I'm just like, ah, another beautiful day on campus. <laughs> um, no, it, it's beautiful and just all the things that are developing, all the new buildings and stuff. I'm excited to see how it kind of keeps getting better, especially that we've entered the Big 12. So, yeah. What's life like after the medal? Is, it, do you, is the reaction to you a little different? It is a little different. Um, I think people, you know, they know more. It's like the, the Olympics is on an international stage. So people, you know, there's a lot of attention that comes with that when you win a medal. Um, so yeah, it's been different, but it's been good. The reception's been great. Um, just love and support from every angle, honestly. What was, what was that like knowing that you set a season best in the biggest moment that you could have in your professional life? I think um, it was the perfect time. It, it, it proved that the training me and my coach had been doing it made sense and it matched up at the right time um so yeah i think it was, it was the perfect time and it was the most fun i was having like the most fun i had um in a meet all season so yeah when you were here did, did, they didn't have the hammer did they i mean that's something that came after college no the they hammer did I, did, I did the hammer here okay. yep that's why i picked so up did. the hammer and learned it under my coach yeah. well how unique is that because describing it, you know just watching it it's pretty cool but Obviously, not everybody can do it. Yeah, not everybody can do it, and women actually weren't able to do it until 2000 Olympics. So it's only—it's actually pretty relatively new in, in terms of an event in the Olympics for women. So, yeah. Annette, walk us through your emotions, like when you got that call that you'd be going into the Hall of Fame here tonight. Um, it was pretty exciting. Um, we were doing a, a, a podcast with Dan Hort actually, um, and uh, they came and told me. So I thought that was it, was, it was really heartwarming to know that I'll be with greats, other greats in UC that have come through UC stores um, and be represented and representing UC in such an excellent way. So it was exciting. After not getting to go in the previous Olympics, yeah. how special was it to not only get to go, but then to be on the podium and, and win a medal? Yeah, it, it was really a, a 180 moment. Um, really, I feel like just what God had for me, um, and to be able to represent Team USA, I think that was that was more the plan, and that that last Olympics was just a redirection. Um, it was painful at the time, but it, it's a blessing now. So, do you ever? Well, while you were in first, right? You, you were in line to get the gold. Yeah. How was that? As you wait. Um, you know, honestly, I was like, I feel like I can throw a little bit farther, so I was trying for it. Um, so, so I could really solidify that gold spot, but you know, I'm really happy with silver and happy I came out with that, with that result because I wasn't even projected to make the team. So to even make it to that point was, was huge. Did you get to see the other Bearcats over there? Oh yeah. Yes, I did. I ran into Jordan a couple times. Wasn't able to see Vanessa, um, as much cause they were soccer was like far away, like two, three hours away. Um, but yeah, I was able to see some other Bearcats, other uh, track athletes as well. So that was really sweet. How was special cool. was that? being able to share that with, with people that kind of had the same experience. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty amazing. I think one thing I've noticed, like going kind of around the world, being doing this track and field, is like Bearcats are everywhere. And so to have them at the Olympics was not a surprise, but it was more just a delight to be able to know, like we have our people here, so yeah. Do you ever sit back and think about the emotion that comes when you became the first American to, po to get to the podium in this hammer throw? And what's your message for the staff and the players heading into the next Olympics to reach that again. Yeah, I think um, it, it's just really a beautiful thing because there's been so many amazing other like women hammer throwers that have come before me, and so to have this to be able to earn this was was huge. Uh, just knowing the people that kind of came before me, so it, it's really it's really an honor and, and a privilege to be in this position and um, something I'm really excited about to hold the title of to be the first American to ever medal in this event um, and to, to people kind of coming after me. I mean, it's, you put in the hard work, you do what you need to do every day, but um, the mental part is the hugest thing. I think that's the thing that kind of set me apart from other people that were there. It's like, you see people kind of go a little like crazy, like, oh shoot, it's supposed to come together and kind of talking down on themselves. And it's like, I'm made for this. It felt like I was made for this in that moment. And I, I stepped into that and really, and the result was second place with a silver medal. Jordan's the only two-time Bearcat yeah. Olympic medalist. Are you uh, anticipating joining her in, in 2028? Hopefully, God willing. I got to make the team. That's the hardest part, but I, I think that's something I'll be able to do then. So I'll keep training and make that the goal for the next Olympics for sure. Thanks for that. Thank you.